Senator Al Franken says he could not fight the sexual misconduct allegations against him and keep effectively serving Minnesota. Today I am announcing that in the coming weeks I will be resigning as a member of the United States Senate. The Democrat denied some of the allegations against him. He also criticized President Donald Trump and the Republican Senate candidate in Alabama who face accusations of their own. In our team coverage, we look back on Franken's political career and look ahead to what happens next. We want to begin, though, with Esme Murphy and the senator's message to Minnesota. Some of the allegations against me are simply not true. Others I remember very differently. As he denied some of the sexual misconduct allegations made by eight different women, Senator Franken took a swipe at the president. I, of all people, am aware that there is some irony in the fact that I am leaving while a man who has bragged on tape about his history of sexual assault sits in the Oval Office and a man who has repeatedly preyed on young girls campaigns for the Senate with the, with the full support of his party. Since the first allegation by Leanne Tweeden emerged just three weeks ago, Franken has insisted he would cooperate fully with the Senate Ethics Committee investigation. He said while he was convinced the committee would eventually clear him, he had to step down. But this decision is not about me. It's about the people of Minnesota. It's become clear that I can't both pursue the ethics committee process and at the same time remain an effective senator for them. And he repeatedly paid tribute to his mentor, the late Senator Paul Wellstone, and the state of Minnesota. Even on the worst day of my political life, I feel like it's all been worth it. Politics, Paul Wellstone told us, is about the improvement of people's lives. I know that the work I've been able to do has improved people's lives. I would do it all over again in a heartbeat. Senator Franken also said while he is giving up his Senate seat, he is not giving up his political voice, that he will continue to stand up for the things he believes in as, quote, a citizen and as an activist. All right, Esme, thank you.